Hello friends welcome to our youtube channel in this video we have brought you mock test number 5 for food corporation of india based on basics of plant pathology so we'll try to come up with more test series for fci as per syllabus related to agriculture so stay connected with us and subscribe to our youtube channel for upcoming mock tests now let's start today's mock test Question number 1 dash is considered as father of modern plant pathology the options are anton de berry julius kuhn louis pasteur or ej butler the correct answer is option b julius kuhn so julius kuhn is considered as father of modern plant pathology whereas anton de berry is considered as father of plant pathology louis pasteur is considered as father of microbiology and ej butler is considered as father of plant pathology in india question number 2 mycoplasma r dash the options are smaller than bacteria smaller than viruses larger than viruses or both a and c the correct answer is option d both a and c which is smaller than bacteria and larger than viruses so mycoplasma are smaller than bacteria and larger than viruses question number 3 the rust fungus is allomorphic as it produces dash different types of spores in its life cycle the options are 2 3 4 or 5 the correct answer is option d 5 so the rust fungus is allomorphic as it produces five different types of spores in its life cycle five spore stages in rust fungi are basidiospores pycnospores asiospores uridiniospores and teleospores question number 4 rough and crinkled leaves produced as a result of viral infection is termed as dash the options are pustules rugos mosaic or gamosis the correct answer is option b rugos so rough and crinkled leaves produced as a result of viral infection is termed as rugos Question number 5 among the five stages of wheat rust fungus which are acial uridial telial basidial pycnial which stages are found on wheat the options are acial and uridial acial uridial and telial uridial and telial or pycnial and acial The correct answer is option C uridial and telial. So among the five stages of wheat rust fungus the uridial and telial stages are found on wheat whereas pycnial and acial stages are found on alternative host of wheat which is barberry. Question number 6 a subgroup within a species usually characterized by the possession of a single or few characters in common is termed as biotype. Biotypes are represented by dash the options are arabic numericals roman numericals roman letters or latin letters the correct answer is option a arabic numericals so a subgroup within a species usually characterized by the possession of a single or few characters in common is termed as biotype and biotypes are represented by arabic numericals question number 7 The fungicide sulfur dust is an example of the options are metallic salt non metallic salt organomercurials or carbamates the correct answer is option b non metallic salt so the fungicide sulfur dust is an example of non metallic salt question number 8 which of the following disease control method is used to control loose mud disease of wheat The options are solar energy treatment, hot water treatment, hot air treatment or both A and B. The correct answer is option D both A and B which is solar energy treatment and hot water treatment. So these both treatments are used to control loose mud disease of wheat. Question number 9. destruction of fungal or bacterial pathogens present on seed surface is called dash the options are seed disinfection seed protection seed disinfestation or seed treatment 
The correct answer is option C, seed disinfestation. So, destruction of fungal or bacterial pathogens present on seed surface is called seed disinfestation. Let's know more about it. Seed disinfection refers to the eradication of fungal spores that have become established within the seed coat or more deep-seated tissues. Seed disinfestation refers to the destruction of surface-borne organisms that have contaminated the seed surface but not infected the seed surface. Whereas coming to seed protection, the purpose of seed protection is to protect the seed and young seedling from organisms in the soil which might otherwise cause decay of the seed before germination. Question number 10. Which of the following is externally seed-borne disease? The options are covered smut of barley, bunt of wheat, grain smut of jowar or all of these. The correct answer is option D, all of these which is covered smut of barley, bunt of wheat, grain smut of jowar. So, all these three are externally seed-borne disease. Question number 11. Insect vector of wheat streak mosaic virus is the options are leaf hopper, thrips, nematode or mite. The correct answer is option D mite. So insect vector of wheat streak mosaic virus is mite. Question number 12. Clump disease in groundnut is caused by the options are mycoplasma nematode virus or viroid the correct answer is option c virus so clump disease in groundnut is caused by virus question number 13 pan suk is a dry physiological disease of the options are barley wheat paddy or jowar the correct answer is option C, paddy. So, pan suk is a dry physiological disease of paddy. Question number 14. Which of this following pair is not correctly matched? The correct answer is option D, both B and C. So, these two pairs, hot air treatment luthra and solar heat treatment kunkal, these both are not correctly matched. The correctly matched pairs are hot water treatment by Jensen, hot air treatment by Kunkal, solar heat treatment by Luthra. Question number 15. Dash and dash disease of paddy are known as poor man's disease and rich man's disease respectively. The options are bacterial leaf blight and brown spot, bacterial leaf blight and blast disease, blast disease and brown spot or bacterial leaf blight and loose smut. The correct answer is option B, bacterial leaf blight and blast disease. So bacterial leaf blight and blast disease of paddy are known as poor man's disease and rich man's disease respectively. Question number 16. Karnal bunt of wheat is dash borne disease. The options are seed borne, soil and seed borne, air and seed borne or air, soil and seed borne. The correct answer is option D, air, soil and seed borne. So Karnal bunt of wheat is air, soil and seed borne disease. Question number 17. Most widely used fungicide for control of smut and rust disease is respectively DASH. The options are Vitavax and Plant Wax, Plant Wax and Vitavax, Metalaxial and Vitavax, Plant Wax and Sulphur Dust. The correct answer is option A, Vitavax and Plant Wax. So most widely used fungicide for control of smut and rust disease is Vitavax and Plant Wax respectively. Question number 18. Which of the following pathogen was responsible for Great Bengal famine in 1943? The options are Phytophthora infestans, Rhizoctonia solanae, Helminthosporium oryzae or Pyricularia oryzae. The correct answer is option C, Helminthosporium oryzae, which is also known as brown leaf spot. So, Helminthosporium oryzae was the pathogen which was responsible for Great Bengal Famine in 1943, whereas Phytophthora infestans was the pathogen which was responsible for Irish Famine and it caused late blight of potato. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 आयरिश फेमाइन वाज अकर्ड इन डैश ड्यू टू लेट ब्लाइट ऑफ पोटैटो फाइटोपथोरा इन्फेस्टेंस द ऑप्शंस आर 1839 1845 1945 और 1943 द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी 1845 सो आयरिश फेमाइन वाज अकर्ड इन 1845 ड्यू टू लेट ब्लाइट ऑफ पोटैटो क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 माइसीलियम ग्रोइंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द होस्ट इज कॉल्ड Dash, the options are ectophytic fungi, endophytic fungi, obligate fungi or facultative fungi. The correct answer is option A, ectophytic fungi. So, mycelium growing on the surface of host is called ectophytic fungi, whereas the fungi growing inside the host is called as endophytic fungi. Moving on to the next question, the concept of vertical and horizontal resistance was given by the options are Julius Kuhn, Van der Planck, Dynier or H.H. Floor. The correct answer is option B, Van der Planck. So the concept of vertical and horizontal resistance was given by Van der Planck whereas H.H. Floor proposed the gene for gene hypothesis. Question number 22. Epidemiology of wheat rust in India was studied by the options are E.J. Butler, Dr. K.C. Mehta, K.R. Kirtikar or both B and C. The correct answer is option B. Dr. K.C. Mehta. So epidemiology of wheat rust in India was studied by Dr. K.C. Mehta. Question number 23. Dash is or are Sexual spores of fungi. The options are basidiospore and zoospores, ascospores and zoospores, basidiospores and ascospores, or aplenospores and zoospores. The correct answer is option C, basidiospores and ascospores. So these both spores are sexual spores of fungi, whereas the asexual spores constitute aplenospores and zoospores. Question number 24. Mycoplasmas are sensitive to DASH antibiotic and highly resistant to DASH. The options are penicillin, tetracycline, oreomycin, tetracycline, tetracycline, penicillin or penicillin, streptomycin. The correct answer is option C, tetracycline and penicillin. So mycoplasmas are sensitive to tetracycline antibiotic and highly resistant to penicillin. Question number 25. The sex organs of fungi are termed as dash. The options are gametangia, mycelium, conidia or oidea. The correct answer is option A, gametangia. So the sex organs of fungi are termed as gametangia. Question number 26. Bordex mixture is the example of dash fungicide. The options are copper, sulfur, zinc or thiocarbamate fungicide. The correct answer is option A, copper. So, Bordex mixture is the example of copper fungicide. Bordex mixture is the mixture including copper sulfate, lime and water. Question number 27. Barberry is dash host of wheat stem rust. The options are primary host, collateral host, alternate host or both B and C. The correct answer is option C, alternate host. So Barbary is alternate host of wheat stem rust. Question number 28. Dash are asexual spores produced by powdery mildew fungi. The options are oospores, conidia, oidea or both B and C. The correct answer is option C, oidea. So oidea are asexual spores produced by powdery mildew fungi. Question number 29. Dash are sexual spores produced by downy mildew fungi. The options are oospores, ascospores, oidea or both A and B. The correct answer is option A, oospores. So oospores are sexual spores produced by downy mildew fungi. Question number 30. Dash was the first disease to report to be reported by Dynier in 1971 to be caused by viroids. The options are fire blight of apple, ear cockle of wheat, potato spindle tuber or purple top roll of potato. The correct answer is option C, potato spindle tuber. So potato spindle tuber was the first disease to be reported by Dynier in 1971 to be caused by 
viroids. Question number 31. First antibiotic used to control bacterial disease of plants was DASH. The options are penicillin, streptomycin, oreomycin or teramycin. The correct answer is option B, streptomycin. So first antibiotic used to control bacterial disease of plant was streptomycin. Question number 32. Gemini virus is dash plant virus. The options are single-stranded DNA, single-stranded RNA, double-stranded DNA or double-stranded RNA. The correct answer is option A, single-stranded DNA. So Gemini virus is single-stranded DNA plant virus. Question number 33. The Cresec phase in paddy occurs in which disease? The options are sheath blight, blast, brown leaf spot or bacterial leaf blight. The correct answer is option D, bacterial leaf blight which is caused by Xanthomonas oryzae. So bacterial leaf blight is the correct answer. The Cresec phase in paddy occurs in bacterial leaf blight. Question number 34. Non-cellular plant pathogen devoid of enzyme system is DASH. The options are phytoplasma, virus, viroid or both B and C. The correct answer is option D, both B and C which is virus and viroid. So non-cellular plant pathogen devoid of enzyme system is virus and Viroid. Question number 35. Disease due to which paddy plant become very tall is? The options are Bacana disease, foot rot disease, foolish seedling disease or all of the above. The correct answer is option D, all of the above. So disease due to which paddy plant become very tall is Bacana disease or foot rot disease or foolish seedling disease. These all three names are the names of the same disease. Question number 36. The disease of pearl millet which is suppressed by chlorine is dash. The options are downy mildew, ergot, smut or both A and B. The correct answer is option A, downy mildew. So the disease of pearl millet which is suppressed by chlorine is downy mildew. Question number 37. Vertical resistance is also known as DASH. The options are major gene resistance, race specific resistance, qualitative resistance or all of these. The correct answer is option D, all of these which is major gene resistance, race specific resistance and qualitative resistance. So vertical resistance is also known as major gene resistance or race specific resistance or qualitative resistance. Question number 38. Pineapple disease caused by fungi Ceratocystis paradoxa is associated with which crop? The options are paddy, barley, millets or sugarcane. The correct answer is option D, sugarcane. So, pineapple disease caused by fungi Ceratocystis paradoxa is associated with sugarcane crop. Question number 39. Downy mildew fungi belongs to order dash. The options are erysifacea, astinaginales, peronosporales or uridinales. The correct answer is option C, peronosporales. So downy mildew fungi belongs to order peronosporales. Whereas powdery mildew fungi belongs to erysifacea, smart fungi belongs to astinaginales and rust fungi belongs to uridinales. Question number 40. The book written by E.J. Butler, father of Indian pathology is dash. The options are fungi and plant disease, fungi and disease in plants, Indian phytopathology or both B and C. The correct answer is option B, fungi and disease in plants. So the book written by E.J. Butler, father of Indian pathology is fungi and disease in plants whereas the book written by B.B. Mundkar is known as fungi and plant disease. Question number 41. Who established Indian Phytopathological Institute and started the publication Indian Phytopathology in 1948? The options are Dr. K.C. Mehta, 
जे एफ दस्तूर ई जे बटलर और बी बी मुंदकर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी बी बी मुंदकर सो बी बी मुंदकर इस्टेब्लिश इंडियन फाइटो पैथोलॉजिकल इंस्टीट्यूट एंड स्टार्टेड द पब्लिकेशन इंडियन फाइटो पैथोलॉजी इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू थ्रिप्स फ्रेंकलेनियला स्कूलजी इज अ वैक्टर ऑफ विच डिजीज द ऑप्शन आर ग्राउंडट रोजट वायरस ग्राउंडट बर्ड नेक्रोसिस ग्राउंडट लीफ कर्ल और ग्राउंडट लिटल लीफ द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ग्राउंडट बर्ड नेक्रोसिस वेर एज एफिड इज द वैक्टर ऑफ ग्राउंडट रोजट वायरस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री अर्गोटीन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय डैश द ऑप्शन आर एस्पर्जिलस नाइजर एस्पर्जिलस फ्लेवर्स क्लाविसेप्स परप्यूरिया और फ्यूजेरियम मोनिली फॉर्मे द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्लाविसेप्स परप्यूरिया सो अर्गोटीन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय क्लाविसेप्स परप्यूरिया क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर द एरिया अंडर कॉफी हैज बीन ऑक्यूपाइड बाई टी इन सेलॉन ड्यू टू डैश डिजीज द ऑप्शन आर रस्ट डाउनी माइल ड्यू ब्लिस्टर ब्लाइट और नन ऑफ दीज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए रस्ट सो द एरिया अंडर कॉफी हैज बीन ऑक्यूपाइड बाई टी इन सेलॉन ड्यू टू रस्ट डिजीज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव द बुक नोवा प्लांटेरम जेनरा is published by dash the options are p m a milardet c h persoon p a michaeli or anton de berry the correct answer is option c p a michaeli so the book nova plantarum genera is published by p a michaeli who is also known as father of mycology Question number forty six. Common scab of potato is favored by dash ph of soil the options are acidic alkaline both a and b or neutral the correct answer is option b alkaline so common scab of potato is favored by alkaline ph of soil potato scab is common in alkaline soil whereas cotton wilt and club root of cabbage are common in acidic soils question number 47 which of the following toxins are host specific the options are tap toxin hp toxin pyricularin or alpha toxin the correct answer is option b hv toxin so hv toxins are host specific and are produced by helminthosporium victoriae question number 48 which of the following is a compound interest disease the options are damping of vascular wilt stem rust of wheat or both a and c the correct answer is option c stem rust of wheat so stem rust of wheat is a compound interest disease compound interest disease or polycyclic diseases are characterized by multiple generations of spores produced in a year Question number forty nine. The typical example of monocyclic disease is the options are stem rust of wheat, loose smut of wheat, rice blast, or both A and B. The correct answer is option B, loose smut of wheat. So the typical example of monocyclic disease is loose smut of wheat. Pathogens that produce only one cycle of development, one infection cycle per crop cycle, are called monocyclic. while pathogen that produce more than one infection cycle per crop cycle are called polycyclic the last question is hot water treatment given by jensen to control loose smut of wheat in which seed treated with hot air at the options are 50 to 54 degree celsius for 10 minutes 30 to 38 degree celsius for 30 minutes 72 degree celsius for 10 minutes or 54 degree celsius for 1 hr the correct answer is option a 50 to 54 degree celsius for 10 minutes so the hot water treatment given by jensen to control loose mud of wheat in which seed treated with hot water at 50 to 54 degree celsius for 10 minute that was all thank you friends for watching our video hope you find it useful please subscribe to our youtube channel for more such videos thank you